What's up YouTube? Wanna ride bikes? I've got these two budget helmets next to me. One is a Bell. I don't know the model number. It's adult. It's a Bell helmet. You can buy both of these at Walmart. That's the first one. And this is a Mongoose helmet. I added the GoPro in the bike store I go to and I don't know the model number. It came with the GoPro mount on the top and a headlight mount. Now pros and cons to both of these. You put this on your head fit you nice in the back, okay? It's very light and comfortable. You barely feel it on your head. It does not have MIPS. Neither of these helmets do. But, look in here. Right here is a pad, two runners, and that's it. Nothing back here for padding. Do I rate this helmet? When you wear it, it feels like there's nothing there. It's one of the lightest helmets I got. And it's comfortable to wear. So one out of the ten, I would give this a fear eight due to the notepad in the back. Is it good for a budget? Yes. I do say it's great for the value of the buck, but not in the pads. Wear and tear, I've used it, and since I shaved my head, it's going to be different. I added the GoPro to the top. This barely moves, so if you wreck, it's going to break off. The adjuster barrel is very when you have it on you gotta hold it and twist it and if you have here it's gonna get stuck in the ear so I always take mine off and adjust it and put it back in doesn't have MIPS but it does move a little bit that's the bell this is the mongoose Okay, the mongoose is the same way. Strap it on. You feel it on your head, but it's pretty light. No MIPS. Came with the GoPro mount. Feels like there's nothing on my head. Does it cover? Yes. Does it feel good? Yes. The value of the buck for this helmet, I would give this a solid nine right off the bat because it feels really comfortable. More comfortable than this one. And I'll tell you why. You take it off. That barrel adjuster is really nice. And look. Look at all the padding. There's pads here. There's pads here. And there's a pad right here. And these pads go to the back. There's nothing here. But this little added pad helps a lot. That's why this little piece of pad gives it a solid 9. And I'm not just saying that because of the pad. When you flop this one on your hat and you strap it in, you feel comfortable. Does it protect your side? Yes. It does the same as this. But the padding, it, it's very, minimum one pad on the front and two right here and that's it. The bell. This is the budget bell. They have higher end bells. This is a mongoose. Mongoose makes, mongoose makes a lot of helmets for the Walmart budget places to sell the helmets. And this was top, top, I don't want to say top, but it caught in my eye to be one of the top ones. And the same thing. This move doesn't move. If you wreck it breaks, then you're out. But I do like the fact that it comes with a GoPro. My, 
Now from this mongoose one to the bell, when I want to do a quick, quick run to the store or something, I grab either one. Do I favor one of them? No. I have all these helmets. I, I'm a big fan of the pox, but being I shaved my head, the pox fit me a little different. And this is for these two budget helmets. If you have either one of these, please leave in the comments what you think is great about one and what is the worst about one. If you have the bell, let me know what you think. If you have this mongoose one, let me know what you think. Because I got this for $10. It was on sale on online on a bike store. Forget which one. It was the middle of the night. It was a late night buy, impulse buy, nine dollars. This one I bought off of Amazon. It was twenty nine dollars. Yeah, did I spend thirty bucks on a budget helmet? Yes, I did because I wanted to see if it was good. Say so, hey, leave in the comments if you have either of these helmets. Thanks for watching. Send it, ride it up.